Morning, children. It's Grandma Carla with Chapter 3 of Me, the Pilgrim Fathers. And this is my friend Elijah, who likes to read with Grandma, don't you? Mm -hmm. Strangers on the Mayflower. Soon, the Southampton dock was filled with people the businessmen had found. Some, like William Mullins and John Billington, had brought their families. Others, like the young barrel maker John Alden, had come alone. Some people were not going to America for religious reasons. Most of them were going because they could not find work in England. They brought the little they owned with them. Many of them were sure that they would never see England again. The Mayflower sailors made fun of the passengers. The passengers paid no attention. They were far too busy. They were carrying tools and cooking pans and bedding on board. They were also trying to get a fishing boat onto the ship. At last, they sawed it into four pieces. Only then could they find room for it on the Mayflower. Can you imagine putting a fishing boat on the ship? That was something else. One of the Mayflower's passengers was trying to keep out of sight. He was the separatist leader, William Brewster. King James' men wanted to arrest him, so Brewster had to hide until the Mayflower sailed. But it could not sail until the other separatists got to Southampton. Young William Bradford had written to, from Holland to say that they were on their way. Days went by. Brewster hoped nothing had happened to Bradford and the other separatists. At last they arrived. Their trip had been rough. They had come to England on a small boat called the Speedwell. It was much smaller than the Mayflower, but it was their very own. They had sold their homes to buy it. Bradford and some of the other separatists planned to sail the Speedwell across the sea right beside the Mayflower. Then they would have their own small ship in America. And that is the end of Chapter 3, Strangers on the Mayflower. And let's show them the picture, Elijah. Would you like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. And there's the picture of everybody coming on board the Mayflower and sticking all their stuff on there, getting ready for a long, long journey. And this is Grandma Carla with Elijah. And would you like to say goodbye, Elijah? Say bye. I love you. I love you.